Here we are in Avid Media Composer 7. We already have a sequence up here and pretty much edited, but now I need to add in some titles. And with Avid Media Composer, you can choose from any of the included title tools, such as the title tool, marquee. You could even use Avid Effects, which comes with Media Composer 7. But in this video, we're going to use New Blue Titler Pro, which also comes free with Media Composer 7. So let's take a look at what we have here so far. In this video, we're going to look at how to import BFD. Okay, so this is the very beginning of the video. So of course I want to have a title coming up saying exactly what's happening. And to do that with New Blue Effects Titler Pro, we'll simply just come up here to our effects. Now I can grab this and I can put this directly on my content, right on my video track if I want, but this is not actually how I work. Then I could come to my effects mode and launch the user interface. And you can see if I do it this way, that Titler Pro is covering the entire timeline and that's not, not what I want. Although you could do it like this, so I'll hit Control A to select all my text and just say my intro. All right, and then we'll quickly come to the library here and just add a style. So this is easier to see. We'll just grab this, we'll just double click it. There we go. And then since New Blue Titler Pro is covering the entire timeline, we only want this covering the intro. So I could simply grab this track within New Blue Titler Pro and then drag it down to just the size that I need which would be around here. So I, and then I could come back to the library and add some transitions here. Let's grab a transition, just grab something here. I'll just double click so I can close. And then we can see right there is our intro when it comes on. And then it just goes away. And then when it comes time for another title, then I could simply go back into my user interface. So we'll come down here, we'll say it's, I don't know, say I need another title here, I could add a paragraph. And then I'd have to cut that down again. It's just not exactly how I like to work. So let's actually remove this from our video track. So we'll just hit the remove effect button there. And the way I like to work with my titles is set up their own video track. So I'll add a new video track, make sure I put my viewer up top here. And let me see how long I need this title to be. First I'll deselect all of these tracks, just make sure video two is selected. So if I scroll through here, I know probably about here. Things like that. So in the pre Yeah, right about there is where I want my title to end. So I'll make sure I line it up on the exact frame and then I'll just insert and edit and that's mapped to my B key. It may be mapped to a different key on your system, but you can add an edit with this button right here as well. So I'll just hit the B key and now my filler is cut to just the size I need. So then I'll come back and grab Tyler Pro, drop it right on my filler and now it only takes up the exact amount that I need. So let's pop in the user interface and set up this uh, intro here, this title. So in New Blue Effects Tyler Pro, it's a really great interface for, of course, making your titles. Lots of things are included in Titler Pro. If we come here to the library, you'll see all of these pre-made styles. We have pre-made shapes, pre-made effects, templates, and transitions that come with the new blue Titler Pro that's included, again, for free with Media Composer 7. So we'll come over to our title. I'll hit Control A to select all my text. And let's set this up. This video is about BFD3, so I want my, my intro to say FX Expansion because that's who makes it. All right, so that's FX Expansion. I want that up here somewhere. And then I'll click the Add Paragraph because this is going to say BFD3. And I want this larger. And from right here in the interface, I can move things around. We'll fine tune this a little bit later. And you'll notice here that when I added a paragraph, it added another sort of a lane for us, another layer, another, almost like another video track for us that we are free to say, change the length of it and add different effects onto each of these layers. So we have F expansion BFD3. Now we need to add another paragraph. This is going to be the title of the video. So this is about adding content paths. So we'll say add expansion packs. All right, we'll move that down. And now we're ready to really set up our title and use some animation and things like that. So of course you can animate things yourself. We could come to say, turn on the keyframe. I can add keyframes here at will. You see, I have my F expansion track chosen. You can see there's the keyframe right there. So I could add another keyframe, say down here, and maybe I want to change the Y value. And right there we have some simple animation. But what I'm going to do is since the control Z out of that, since the included styles and effects are so great, I'm just going to use some of the included uh, transitions. So for this F expansion, I want this to be pretty small. So I'll go to the styles and you notice if I just 
hover over top of one of these pre-made styles. It gives me a little preview there. I want something just kind of simple for this. So just simply double click. You can also drag and drop. I'll just double click. I want this to be sized down pretty, pretty small. I want it at the top. So I'll come to the X. I want this in the center, double click, hit zero. That's pretty good. We can adjust the Y value around there looks pretty good. So now I'll move on to my BFD3 track. I actually want this to start just a little bit after the F expansion. So probably they're actually going to pull it back. There we go. About there. Let's go to styles for this too. Although, you know what, instead of going to styles for this one, I'm actually going to go to templates and use some of these awesome pre-made transitions that are already set up for us, these templates. So again, if I just hover right over one of these templates, it gives me a little demo of exactly what it's going to look like when it fades in, fades out. There's lots of really great ones in here. See so when it gets down to the end of this track, there's the animation out. Then here's the animation in. All right, so I'm pretty sure I already know what I want for this one. This modern wood, this is probably my favorite uh, included preset. So I can double click this, I can drag and drop it if I want. I like to double click, it's just easier. So double click on that. There we go, now it's applied. So now I'll resize it. I want this to be pretty large. And one thing to take a look at here is you can see that the BFD text here is black and the three is a nice light blue. So what I'm going to do actually is change the color of this three to match that blue. So you see, I simply just drag my cursor right over top, just like you would select text, you know, on anything else. I just want that three. Then I'll come here to styles and I want my face track. I'm going to change this to color. I'm going to grab my eyedropper. And I'm going to go right to about this three. If I can find it, click that. There we go. Now I have a perfect match to the color of that three right there. And again, you don't have to use the preset transitions or even the preset styles. You can set them up yourself just by coming to the styles tab and coming over here to say your 2D edition. So I could say a shadow, an outline of face, come over to the 3D and do an outline or face. And you can just add these up. You'll see what's on here. We have a 3D face then a 3D face again, and then a 3D outline, another 3D outline, then a 2D outline, and then we have a 2D face. And then you can do more advanced stuff down here, add an effect if you want, all kinds of crazy stuff you can do right here in one interface. So now that we have our text set up how we want it, I'm going to move this around a bit, go back to my attributes, object, make sure I have my BFD3 track selected, double click in here, put this right in the center, all right, so that's pretty good. We scan over this. That comes in nice. And by the way, if you don't like everything included in a template, you can switch things out. So maybe I don't like this fade in. I could come to my library, go to say transitions, and I could drop in something different if I wanted, if I didn't want that fade in, or I could actually double them up. So you can have more than one effect. I could have two or three or four or five effects on here if I wanted. So I could say, take this stretch, drag this down here. And now I have a drop split on that but that's not what i want so control z out of that back to my library let's move this around a little more move it a little bit well, actually no i want a little lower i think just so i have more of the interface showing through make sure it's back in the middle okay so let's move on to our last line of text i think for this i'll use a template as well something already made up i like that one there i like that red i like the shaking it'll bring a lot of attention of course i don't like the skew but we can change that so i'll just double click on that I actually want to bring it back a bit more all right if i just look at this not bad so now i'll change the positioning of my expansion pack text skew this around come in here to the z type in zero good make sure i lock down my scale and size it down Thing about there looks good. Again, I'll make sure it's right in the middle. Nice, so that's a pretty good looking intro. And I need to add a little animation to our F expansion. So I'll choose that layer, go back to my library. And again, I could animate this in and out if I want. I could simply use uh, keyframes and animate stuff at will, but let's just use some of the uh, pre-made transitions in this case. I'll use a transition. Let's go for something like a fly-in, I think. No, I don't like that. That's pretty good there actually, but I think I'm gonna go for a fade in. There's something simple. I like that. We'll just go with the fade in. I can see the fade in down here and I can adjust the length, which I'm going to do because I want that to pop on really quick. So now we'll take a look at it. There we go. That's a beautiful intro. So let me look at it all the way through. See our BFD3 is rotating. Got a nice shake on the expansion pack line. And then those tracks animate out. Now I need to animate out my 
F expansion track. And again, I could keyframe that, but I'm simply going to use the same fade out as I did for the fade in. So we're already in the fade in category. I'll simply grab this. I'll just drop it down here and we'll move our playhead. See how this looks. Yeah, that's good. Play through it here. Nice. Now I could tighten this up if I was, if I really wanted everything to animate off at exactly the same time. It doesn't really matter to me because this is actually going to be fading to black, the uh, content behind it. So this will look just fine. So I think we're done here, but we'll look at a couple other things real quick. You see here in the transition section, look at all these options we have. We have preset word by word. We can change presets here. We can apply to the word. We can apply to a line, a letter, a paragraph, set up your overlap, your smoothness. And again, you can do more keyframing on your own if you want. Uh, we could do things like I could take this three and the BFD and three are the same exact size text size right now, but I could say just adjust the size of just this three. Maybe I want this three to be larger. I can move just the three wherever I want. Maybe I want it there, but I can also adjust the size of just the three, then move it. So maybe that's what I would want. I don't, but if you wanted to, and then would animate on. That looks pretty cool actually. But that's just an idea of things you can do. I'm gonna control Z out of that. Okay. I think I actually will change the size of this three just a bit. Let me highlight it, pull it up, and I'll move it just a bit. All right, now let me take a look at this. Pretty good, I think I can change this a little more. Just the three. All right, so that looks pretty good. I I'm pretty happy with that. But if we look here on the interface, you'll see other options we have. You have the styles tab here. You can click that to quickly get to it. You can go through your different text styles that you want. I happen to like these, so I'll leave it. You can change the size of the text here if you want to be exact. You have your bold, your italicized underline alignment right here as well. You also have things up here like in the settings, like high quality preview. You can see different views and your safe margins if you want. So there's a standard safe margins. Turn that on and off however you want. Now I could come over here and save this intro if I wanted to, but I usually don't do that. I'll usually just set everything up in title or pro how I want then simply close it, close my effects mode. And right there is my title. Now, in order to preview this, if I just hit play in this video, we're going to look, you see, it's not showing my title because my system doesn't have the resources to play this in real time. So I'll need to render this first. So I'll make sure I have everything saved first. I'll select that and I'll simply render this effect. And the time it takes to render the effect is really based on how complex the intro is, you know, exactly what kind of animations are going on. And it also has a lot to do with your equipment, uh, what kind of video card you have, what kind of computer you have, the CPU, how much RAM, things like that. All right, there we go. We got the little tone letting us know rendering is complete. So now if I hit play in this video, we're going to look at how to import BFD expansions into BFD3 including our grooves, make sure we get all of our kit pieces, things like that. Really cool and really easy and actually very quick to do. You can get some great professional looking titles really quickly in New Blue Effects Titler Pro. Now, actually for me, this intro is a little bit longer than it really needs to be. Somewhere of about around probably eight seconds is fine because I want to show some of the content uh, behind the title. Uh, before I go into the actual tutorial, right? So I'm actually going to cut this down. Again, I just have the video two tracks selected. I'll just hit B. So I, I make a cut there and I'll just delete that. Okay, and now I'll hit my quick transitions button because I just want to kind of fade this out. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go up here to film and I'll go to a film fade. I'll pop that right on the end and that should fade out. So now that looks really good. Okay, and right here, I'll need a cut, make my edit, my quick transition. I want a dip to color. I want this to be 31 frames. I'll just add and render that. Okay. So on the previous speed. Nice. Of course, instead of actually cutting the actual video track title, the filler, I could have simply went back into Tyler Pro and just pulled those layers down to the exact length that I wanted them. But this is how I chose to do it this time, just to show that you can edit your titles just like you would like a video track. You can you know, cut it at a fade, whatever. Make sure I have my viewer up here. In this video, we're going to look at how to import BFD expansions into BFD3, including our grooves. Make sure we get on. Awesome. So now I would actually hit control U, control U, add two more audio tracks. Then I would come to my, uh, 
transition of sound effects bin. And I would add in some sort of a sound effect there. That one's pretty good. I'll just grab it and drag it down here. Let me pull it back. And I think in this video, we're going to look at, that's pretty good. Pull it back just a bit. In this video, we're going to look at how to in cool. So then of course I would come to my tools, my audio mixer, and I would turn down that effects track. I don't want it so loud. And I actually want these two tracks to be left and right. I want this a little bit wider. In this video, we're going to look at how to import. That's pretty good. I mean, look at it again. In this video, we're going to look at how to import. Let me tighten it up a little more. In this video, we're going to look at how to import Beautiful. VFD expansions into. So then I would simply continue on with my editing here. Let's go further down. Let's say I need a title around here somewhere, which I actually do. I would come back to my video two track, my filler layer, and I would simply choose where I need to uh, have that title start. I'd put my edit right there. I just hit the B button on my system and then come down to say where I want it to end. Hit the B again. So now we have our filler block cut. Simply come back to the Typler Pro, add that, go back into our interface. I hit Control A, select all my text, and then I add my second title. And I would do just like I did the uh, first time I'd set everything up. Maybe I want to use an included template. You know, I don't want to set everything up myself. I'll just use an included template. Just make it real easy on myself, which you can do. These are great templates. I use them all the time. Or if you really want to get in there and make something yourself, you know, you can do that too. Add shapes, you know, let's say add a uh, rectangle here for some reason. You can uh, add templates and effects to that as well. So that is New Blue Titler Pro. This is version one that is included with uh, Media Composer 7. It's a great titling tool, really makes it easy to make uh, professional looking titles really, really quickly. And we didn't even cover half of the stuff that you could do with New Blue Effects Titler Pro.